Hi everybody, I'm Amy Hashke, therapist and life coach, and today I'm going to talk to you about what to expect at your first therapy or life coaching session. The process will be specific to that which I incorporate when I meet with my own clients for the first time, but it's also pretty general to most talk therapy sessions. The first thing that I always acknowledge is the courage that it takes to bring in all of your own personal stuff, feelings, issues, into a new space with a total stranger. By the time a client enters my office, they have often tried any number of strategies to better their own circumstances, but sometimes without a lot of success. So it's very common and normal to feel anxious, uncomfortable, and maybe even a bit desperate for things to get better. Now on the other end of the continuum are those individuals and couples for whom things are going quite well and they want to keep that momentum going or even turn things up a notch. So all are candidates for therapy or life coaching. An experienced therapist is very accustomed to working with many different issues and they should do their best to help you feel as at ease as possible in this first session, which is often referred to as an assessment. Now while that word sounds very clinical, really an assessment simply involves gathering, some of your life history, events and circumstances that have impacted your life that have shaped who you are today, as well as current issues, things you're struggling with at present. We also gather information about any medications you may be taking, side effects, any health issues that may be impacting your life as well. And most importantly, we talk about therapy goals, namely, at the end of your time in therapy, what tools, resources, knowledge, wisdom do you want to take with you out into the world? Lastly, and most importantly, feeling like the relationship with your therapist is a good fit is a must. And an assessment is a great opportunity for you to ask any questions about their background and training, the primary therapy models that they draw upon, or anything else that might be on your mind within this quick 50 minute window. If you've been in therapy before and a certain style did or did not work well for you, don't be afraid to share that. This is about you and your needs as a co-creator of this therapeutic relationship. Personally, as a therapist, I truly consider it a privilege to share in the lives of my clients and I welcome you just as you are. My office is a no judgment zone and a place of objectivity, which can be a breath of fresh air for family members and friends who haven't been quite able to give you what you need in the way of support. So my challenge to you, if you've been thinking about therapy or life coaching, I hope this video will encourage and inspire you to reach out and take that first step. If you'd like to learn more about the therapy process or fine tuning your communication skills in life and love, like and subscribe. Again, my name is Amy Hashke and until next time.